Another beautiful set from another era, another set with fusion strike boosters it looks like, and I think this might be an evolving skies booster, but I'm not entirely sure. Let's see what's inside. We get the Hooper V promo card, 7-6. It's nice, nice. Then we get the jumbo card, of course. And then, looks like I was right, but looks like I also didn't see that we have another set in slide, namely Vivid Voltage. So we're getting two fusion strikes, one Vivid Voltage, and an Evolving Sky, as well as a Coat Card. That's pretty good, because we don't have that much information about Vivid Voltage yet. We've only seen two packs of those. I'm hoping that we'll get some more in, obviously. But let's start with Fusion Strike, because that's obviously where it's at at the moment to start with. Watch your energy. Adventurers discover a schoolgirl, Luxio, Meow, Meryl, Mudkip, Sanchu, Kufant, the reverse is a Sanchu, the two Sanchus in the same set. Rare is Corbinite. I think we already had that, so that's not great. Regular non hollow, and that's not gonna cut it. Let's go Dark Enemy, the Dancer, Pandro, Grapplot, Toxel, Totodile, Booniary, Clobopus, Tainum, the Versus a Meryl, Cinderace VMAX! Ooh, we got a hit! We got a big hit. That's cool. Nice. Oh, that's going to pull it up, I think. Right, Vivid Voltage. We don't know much about the Vivid Voltage. Other than that, it has cards. Ooh, that's a bad sign. That's a very bad sign. Right, Metal Energy. A Rocky Helmet. Galvantula. Fuello. Pimicho. Minkada. Voltorb. Rockruff. Wishma. Reverse is a Regirock. Rare, it's not going to be great. Electros. Right, maybe the Evolving Skies is going to compensate for this? Oh, looks like it's not going to compensate for that. That is the wrong colour code card. I don't know why they did that. Right, Water Energy, Ursaring, Russell, Rescue Carrier, Scraggy, Bebass, Hitmunchen. Slackoff, Petalu, Reverse is a Stoutland, that is a rare though, so that's good, and our rare is Lapple, a non-hollow. So we got some more info, let's see what that did. This was the score at the end of the last video, and with only one hit in the box, we're not seeing too many changes of the board. Every set is staying in its lane, and the average values have moved only slightly. We did get a promo card for the collection though, and that's always a nice addition. I hope you found this interesting and it gave you a little bit more of an insight in what this box from Sword and Shield Era had to offer. Are you a Hooper fan or did you expect more from this box? Leave your view in the comments and if you liked this video please like the video, subscribe, it really helps the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.